Hey, welcome to Christoph. I'm Happy Chthonian. Strike that, reverse it. This is a video showing session one of my UVG campaign. This is part two. So go back and watch part one if you haven't already. Uh, part two of session one. And an ongoing campaign of ultraviolet grasslands using my homebrewed Haka Ba system. You can look in the, the details of the video to get links to all the details of the video. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what else to say. Enjoy this video of me and my friends playing ultraviolet grasslands. <laughs> Regarding the question of towns, these are all towns. Mm -hmm. all right. Porcelain Citadel has towns. You know, the last Sarai is towny. Um, yeah. And then rumor has it that the Black City is the city. And there's one other one here, the Spectrum Palace. If Wait, we were to change our route, this is much faster. Better roads going this way than through Death Facing Passage. Well, and these are uh, kind of just dangerous, way. you can tell by the name. Vones are you know, monsters in Death Facing Passage. Death is there. Do average people like have a map like this or know things like this? We have a map. Maps this like this? Our inventory. Oh. With this, these notes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone had it. So not out. all of these are circles are towns. Not necessarily. No. They're this one is. definitely okay. points of interest, and they're places where sometimes people congregate and then are. It's just that's good to know. It's a lot less refueling options than I thought. Yes. Good thing we traded for a slug bison. <laughs> hey, we have the slug bison. I forgot about that. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, that dish. <laughs> Slug bison. Uh, Good day. It is in our calendar. Mm -hmm. and Tell me about your character again, Slovis. Oh, um, the sense of them. But My character's nice name is Peptid yeah. Von It is in our calendar. And, and he is a uh, Redland Vintner, Vintner aristocrat surgeon. So I have surgical abilities. I have a compulsion to care of him, whatever that means. After speaking with a seer, or perhaps the seer, who all of you work for. Okay. I mean, you can go into the box and you read your poem and you're like, oh man, this this line? Oh, to explain my compulsion of it. I see where you're going with that. Um, <laughs> Wait, your, you can read, read your poem. With... I said, my, I rolled up a compulsion to caravan. Oh. That's just my character's compulsion. Okay. I'm, compulsion. I'm firing off on things that fire. Yeah. 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 So, so, I got hit by a vampire. You owe me a an interest rate of 10%. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that's my compulsion. I borrowed money and I need to know. 100%. That's us, yeah. You go to a seer and being like, I need direction in my life when you come back with a thousand dollars. A terrible interest rate. We yeah. all kind of did that. <laughs> um, oh, and I have, uh, let's see, I had an old friend with me. Now, I named him Boner, but I forgot that I did too. <laughs> that was the nickname of one of my friends in high school. God, there you go. Is the stoner? Yeah. That's, that's pretty solid. <laughs> And he's an odd person with an immune. Oh, he's immune to side effects of drugs, I guess. Or side effects in general. Side effects of yes. whatever. Drugs, but not Side effects of existence. Drugs writ large. Drugs at large. Herbs, et cetera. Um, yeah. I get a couple skills and. What came with. Okay, so I, bu I bought the. Caravan supplies, okay. right? Uh, out of that, the book. So I get a camel and a cart. And, yeah. Um, but do I have like food? Does that come with food? And stuff? Let's say you made it out here, and now you have one sack of supplies left. Okay. Um, the supplies meaning tin meat, a travel ale, disinfectant, schnapps, novelty items, rough newspapers, socks, gum, prophylactics, etc. <laughs> Um, trade goods, I don't know if, oh, what, did I roll that? Dried odd 
Prince. Oh, I rolled that for yep. that thing. Yeah. You have uh, three sacks of dried odd fruits. Just to trade? Yep. Okay. That's what I'm trading. Um, and those, rather than taking up... Uh, those are in the cart? Yep, those are going on the cart. All three of them? Yep, all of those four should live on another sheet. Um, Let me add them to here now. Hmm. Oh, wait. Add them to that one? Yeah, because this is going to be the party's okay. track of that. So, oh, so those, these four are in the cart. Okay. What is that? Awesome. You've got another cart and a camel. Oh, and another cart and a camel, too. Yep. And Three one sack, sack of supplies. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Three sacks of dried odd fruits for trading. Mm-hmm. Odd meaning... Put a camel in the cart. Cart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Camel. Camel cart. Plus. Cart. Sorry. All right. And what was that? How many supplies? At one, one sack, one I guess. Is that so that it lasts a week? For one person. For you. Yep. For you. And an old friend. An old son. Does he have his own sack of supplies? I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and say you got oh, two right. supplies. Okay. okay. And then, uh, sorry, and then what was the trading sacks that you had? Three sacks of old. The old. <laughs> old <laughs> dried odd fruits. <laughs> dried. Three sacks of old fruit. <laughs> Three sacks of old fruit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. They're dried, I guess they're getting old. <laughs> okay. Right, I actually should write down the NPCs we have. So I've got. Magic put there. Vintage fruit. <laughs> it's grown these for years. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good stuff. OG pears. <laughs> I remember five years ago when the pears were actually juicy. I say three sacks of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just reeks of mold. <laughs> Does anybody else have a loyal old friend that's with us? Okay. Sorry for your trade. Long traded yoga for. Uh, but she might be coming back. Maybe. Mystic. Camel snow for their life. And. Um, so they're going to be able to. My guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, side effects. Maybe side effects. That's small. Fantastic. Uh, we do not have a cost, thankfully. We do have a supply. Whoa. So my supply in fact goes on that thing too. Yeah, supply that's all there. So I got a few slots of internal spaces. I got a wheel also to delete this slug by some soon, hopefully. Because <laughs> we get hungry. I kind of need more slugs. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I don't know. see. Just slimy. Yet satisfying. He's like, oh, look, I, I remember like a snake shiny, like, like a slug, like a slug, 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 I'm thinking of a shell, but that's a snail, right? Slugs I had close to imagine that, but hmm. yeah. Slugs don't have shells. I think they don't yeah. have. I think snails hunt down slugs because the slugs don't have shells. I think mean, I've seen that before. Really? Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Well, we're getting like sped up, so it's. Think how cool a like that size of a snail shell would be if like you came across one. Oh yeah. 
and then you could like kind of have a little house. Yeah, you could be like the hermit crab. Or yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, there we go. I mean, this shell is really cool and very useful, but where did it go? <laughs> the thing that was in it is gone. Back. Back. <laughs> yeah, it's coming back. Sleeping here might be a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Depends on what you go. Alright. Alright, well I forgot the backstory of this caravan. They were just hired by This caravan sought out a back the backstory, interesting question. <laughs> the caravan came together. All of them have loans. They took out a group loan from oh, okay. uh, Seer. Uh, a Satrap 54, codenamed Seer. Uh, and he gave them all, right? He helped them buy their camels and carts and said, go crazy, but uh, you owe me Two thousand dollars each in a year. Mm -hmm. uh, that's basically their story. Coffee traders. And the same guy yeah, sent yeah. me. Or... Mm -hmm. The same fellow. Yes. I got my loan from him, or I'm on a special mission. Well, the same. Here's an interesting fact. Okay. Remember, Seer offered all of you mm -hmm. a a uh, hunter, a game specialized hunter. big game hunter. Mm -hmm. But y'all were like, Not I don't know, you know. We don't want a vampire in the party. So I think Seer. Sought out another person who really wanted to go caravanning, but also who, like his plant, the hunter, had some ties to the Winter Lords mm -hmm. as a way to put that influence into your party. That's an idea I have. Nice. I like that. So he sent me specifically to find these guys. Okay. Yep. And did you have a group name? Thousand Camels? Uh, that's oh, the motto. Oh, we we have a blank company name and a blank logo. So maybe you come with their like. <laughs> uh, well, I logo. I rolled a logo. My roll my symbol is a vehicle, or yeah, I don't know whatever that means. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do the vehicle. Okay, okay, okay. This game. What do you want? <laughs> I, I got one of those a picture. One of those like goblin things on the. <laughs> you ever seen those? Like they were were out of the eighties. It's like a little tiny car. Yeah. It's like a goblin on top of it with the studio. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. What the hell are those? It's like weird looking tiny. rats with the big yeah. eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that brings me back. Rats. What are those called? <laughs> That's your sick. Yes, so That's cool. like your house <laughs> crest. <laughs> yeah, but on a What the hell was it called? I can't remember. They were so tacky. So weird. <laughs> So you come upon, uh, I suppose, we'll take it from your perspective first, Pepted. You were just uh, here in the pot shards uh, where Seer told you, being a Seer, that uh, this group would be. Okay. And indeed they are. It's shortly after you meet the one with the blue, mo uh, follow the one with the blue mohawk and you will find the crew. And so you've been following this weird, uh, uh, person with the big blue mohawk and the motorcycle who has been going across the lands and telling everyone of a prophecy. Oh. Uh, and maybe that's y'all come up to hear it now telling this group of people who you're here to see. Telling, so that, uh, You can see that Duke is laying back with like a toothpick, a porcelain <laughs> toothpick in his mouth. And you can see in the back of the car that he's got like two sacks of porcelain already and he's just listening to this mohawk dude. They have nothing better to do than listen to this traveler. Of course, they just make beer off the ground effectively. <laughs> the werepugs! The werepugs have built a raft. They're in the employ of an ultra, a ghost, you understand. And the, the guy just nods along, and the two wizards look at each other. If they're building a giant raft at the base of the needle of the world. They're trying to climb it. It will bring down the stars. It isn't a prophecy. A prophecy from the Black City. He goes into a side saddle on the on the motorcycle and brings out uh, like a, a, a tablet but it, it, it opens up like a scroll and it's like got two Wiimotes and there's a hollow tablet between it. The wrinkled ones will climb to the sky and bring the heavens down. That was a prophecy of doom from the Black City over six years ago. It's coming to pass. And they put it and they have a bunch of prophecies in this little side cart. I've come to tell you, 
leader of the Tacopolis, and any who will hear me in this crater. Do you hear me? And he just yeah, shouts yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've seen him do the shtick yeah. with no man yeah. with the bison's a thousand like. times. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> he grabs, grabs the duke by the lapels and the <laughs> Xeno bodyguard kind of like gets him between them. <laughs> he just looks and says, you must go back to the Ducopolis and convince them to destroy the raft, but the heavens will destroy the Circle Sea. I don't got any play in the Ducopolis anymore. Why do you think I'm out here <clears throat> shelling up porcelain chips on the crunchy ground? <laughs> and then you see the people that you're here to meet with approach. Convince the Ducopolis. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> So destroy the rare. Okay. The Decapolis is a city, I'm assuming. Yes, it's a, it's ten, uh, seven to eleven cities on that shore over there, the eastern, oh, okay. kind of looks like northern shore. The Needle of the World, you see that, like, compass rose in the middle of a... Mm -hmm. That's actually a stratospherically tall, thin mountain. Space that, Needle. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. Okay. But people do not like to talk about it. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of like rude. It's like a faux pas. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's been around for a long, long, long time. Nobody really knows what it's supposed to do. And especially the people in power are just uncomfortable with not knowing, you know? Mm. <laughs> so we got to convince them not to build the raft. And they were climbing the raft or they were climbing the world. They are trying to, I've told you again and again, the werepugs are being led by one of the ghosts, the ultra spirits that live in the hills from the long, oh, long ago. Wait, 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 you said werepugs? Yes. I thought you said werepunks. Oh, I've been confused this whole time. I thought a punk was going to bite me and I was going to turn into a punk. The wrinkled ones, he takes on the prophecy the again. The oh wrinkled gosh, ones will climb wrong. the sky. <laughs> How are they going to climb the needle of the world with those short little legs? <laughs> when they're in their humanoid forms, the ultra will find a way. They'll, they'll carve a stairway into the sides. I don't know, but we can't risk the heavens falling down on civilization. The cat lords should be told. But they cat threw me out of their palace. They said I was mad. Yeah, I wonder why that happened. It's okay, buddy. They say that about everybody. <laughs> 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 Comforting the crazy crowd. Looks at you, looks over your shoulder at your butt, like, I've called those crazy plenty of times. Well, well, I. It's just their cat like ways. They're felony into sensibility. I get some motorcycles. Well, I'm glad I told you. But what is the reason you're saying about it? Bone is going to offer a weed. I will take some of my guys, please. Don't walk on it. <laughs> it takes a lot, it's a little bit. I did come away with something from the Violet City. He's, he relaxes a little bit and decides to hang. <laughs> he was going to flee he's in terror. Flee. But... <laughs> no, he's just chilling. Oh, that's perfect. It's got, I've got actually, I've got shaman's gear as well, so I'll go, <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> clean out my pipe, <laughs> join the circle. <laughs> takes out some more uh, prophecies to read over them as you all are uh, enjoying. Somebody... Roll, roll a die. I don't even know if I am. I'm going to see if... Uh, roll a what? Six? Uh, no, As in throwing, D20, actually. as Sathak is in the prophecy, his like, comfort goal is to try and sit on the car so his feet don't have to be touching the porcelain ground anymore. <laughs> Just any, anywhere to sit and get his feet on the crunchiness. <laughs> the, uh, the bodyguard who has, like metal rimmed with like teeth bone like a, a talon the armor grunts at you as you sit on the car mm. <laughs> take my cloth and just go through <laughs> I rolled a six man. excellent so gotta pay attention this is important this next one's important seven years ago the Grand Observer said, The higher world dies and withers as the light of reason fades into the beyond. Okay. 
the boner is like makes a lot of sense. I think that's already happened. Bones like, but what if the color green is different for me than for you? I thought the same thing the prophet says. Like, what if the sound of high-pitched things sounds like low-pitched things does to you? But we yeah. both call it high-pitched. Yeah, because, like, we don't know each other's brains. Exactly. <laughs> like, your brain is, like, unique and special, man. Like, my brain is... <laughs> Just scared of how many people say this on the last place. <laughs> Prophet makes us up smoking all day. <laughs> Whatever, guy. <laughs> I just thought of something though. He's immune to side effects. So what if his weed is <laughs> his stash has oh, side effects that he's not people. aware of? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> It's wrong. He wouldn't know. He's not staring off the middle distance because of the weed. He's just, <laughs> it's just who he is as a person. He just kind of gets lost in the pot. But also that conversation oh, they just were so having is true. Oh, it's one, two, three. There are side effects. Okay. What was that? Oh, yeah. Oh, All right. So it's just I'm trying to remember the face of that. Violet so City, Cat Lord Dank. <laughs> Mouth and brain fog, but Bowman doesn't. Bowman doesn't have to worry He's about that. He's just that way all the time. Um. Yeah. So the two wizards don't partake of uh, uh, Violet City Dank, nor does Xena, but their apparent lord uh, does. The lord in the car. Yep. He gets out. He's wearing like gray suit rimmed with red totally doesn't make sense for <laughs> roughing it on the road uh, there's a little mini bar like center console in the back of his uh, convertible uh, road wagon I'm picturing a, who's that guy from Street Fighter <laughs> not the main guy no the, the Bond the, uh, I can't remember his name I'm, I'm tired I'm not going to remember his name the guy in the red he's like the the Baron or something like that. M. Bison? Yeah, no. M. Bison. <laughs> Basically M. Bison. By, um, famously played by... <laughs> Raul Julia. What's the poet's name? Yeah. yeah. Raul Julia. <sighs> His final role. Yeah. He was like <laughs> wasting away of cancer and oh, actively yeah. dying while filming that mm -hmm. to the point that he had to do like an action scene and spend the rest of the day recovering. Uh, and he did it because his grandparents, grandkids were really into it. Oh, and he was like, yeah, I'm going to take the job playing Anne Bison in the Street Fighter movie. And I'm going to play it so hard for my grandkids <laughs> and they're going to love it. That um, was like his final act after an illustrious life of brilliant models. Wow. It's beautiful. Anne Bison in Street Fighter. <laughs> It's not a good movie. But <laughs> <laughs> it is. I have respect for it. It's an engaging cultural that's experience. Right. And Raul Julia's um, role as M. Bison is just amazing. Like that, that one performance is worth <laughs> the whole half schlock. <laughs> like, whether you appreciate the schlock or not, that one performance is worth it. <laughs> and I think I appreciate the schlock. Oh, the schlock is so good. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Some quality schlock. I know I've watched that movie. movie. Yeah. But like Boner, I'm pretty sure I was stumped with it. <laughs> don't remember much of it. The Rouge, uh, the M. Bison fellow, is uh, leaning back to his car and reasoning with Boner. And he says, uh, uh, Hey, Ramba, Ramba, you want some? And his bodyguard just looks and says, Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> just smoke. How do we do spells in this thing? You just do it? Do you spell? On the back, there are rules, but uh, to mm -hmm. make it, it, it happens no matter what, but you gotta roll a d6. If you get four, five, six, it just goes off, no problem. If you get one, two, three, 
uh, then that's a failure and essence drain, you either gain an injury or spend a point of haka or ba. Oh, if there's a failure? Yeah, if you get a one, two, or three. It costs. You have to fuel it with your money force. Oh, whoa. <laughs> but you can use it as many times as you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really worth doing it now. I was going to read M. Bison's mind, but whatever. <laughs> <Poor Whatever. him. laughs> That's important. That's important. That's important. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you do? Oh, I see he's got, hey, were, are you the guys that were hired or went to um, see her for, for the for the loan? Who asking? wants to know? <laughs> oh, my name's Peptid von Hemoglobin. And I was sent forth by that same dude to meet up with you guys. <laughs> Not uh, the von Hemoglobin. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Yes, I come from the Redlands. <laughs> Oh, that's right, I have this posh accent. <laughs> Why, yes, I come from the Red Hands. <laughs> I'm an expert legume farmer. <laughs> the, the acres, the plantations have been in my family for generations. Imagine a southern gentleman in like a white suit <laughs> mixed with the doctor from uh, uh, Firefly, because you're a surgeon. <laughs> can't remember the doctor from my grandmother used to write insurance policies for your uh, your clan. Gave them excellent rates on account of they never died. <laughs> she she figured it out that she could the extra actually my grandmother was figured out that she could write the cheapest policies for the body because. <laughs> They never collected. <laughs> they just went on and on. <laughs> she refused to insure any of their hirelings or hedge people. Oh, God. <laughs> Clever. That's strange. <laughs> oh, yes. My, uh, my family has had several dealings with people of your sort. <laughs> no offense intended, but insurance uh, insurance doctors and all sorts of things it's more it's more uh, pro I'm sorry guys my brain is like <laughs> <laughs> it's more practical it's more practical to insure the fields of blood legumes <laughs> that make the most excellent wine I have some bottles here you have blood wine? Yeah. Rouge Lampardo <laughs> perhaps up <laughs> I don't know how many, it just says vampire ones. Nice. Oh my god. Are you a vampire? Well, not really. <laughs> they, uh, I don't know how many greats he is, but my one of my, my great, great, great grandsire is a vampire. But they are able at times to, to breed non-vampiric sheep. So my father was a, was an undead, but my mother was quite human. Or wait, are there humans in this world? Yeah, no. well, post humans. Post -human, yes, my mother Something. was quite post human. <laughs> <laughs> we're all. Oh my God, I feel like we're back in college. Post human. Post human. Post post modern. Post post modern. <laughs> I'll give you. Anyhow, uh, I'll give you a sack of porcelain for that bottle of wine. What's the porcelain do? This is not. That's what we're here. That's what we're here for. He looks at his wizards and says, "My lord, it would probably be more cost effective just to pay him using your credits." <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'll give you three hundred uh, for the bottle of wine. I mean, uh, okay. 30, 30. <laughs> 30. No, you said three hundred. Yeah. Oh, um, I did. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How wild that special is. And the whole time, we're like, Thoth just goes down to the ground and scoops up porcelain from the ground and crunches it. 
What are we talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> the he's still land. confused. Yeah, like, the we, entire land porcelain? Because he's been yeah. in the dirt. Okay. It's been absolutely awful that, so. walking all over it. And so, like, the fact that the guy is, like, offering you dirt. <laughs> and then it's the advice. No, no, no. It would be more cost effective to purchase another. <laughs> It's like, yeah, yeah, 300, like triple its price, not at 30. This is, this negotiation tactic. I don't know if it's effective or not, but maybe it'll smooth characters. This is insane. Oh, yeah, I'd like to trade 300 for a I wouldn't trade bottle. anything this guy. <laughs> Here's a here's a nice image of the pot charm crater with the porcelain mountains. Oh, okay. You can see how they've been like broken down. That's why there's porcelain in the sand that you walk on. Yeah. And that's all over the whole place? Yeah. This like rim is what the mountain symbol is. Sure, okay. Is there. It's a huge crater. So a giant meteor hit this world oh. at some point and turned everything into porcelain. You can see how some of them are. Some bits are still floating in midair because oh. stuck force is holding them there. Stuck force. Yes. That's why. Is that uh, the speed force is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Second cousin. <laughs> so, All right. Is that a is that a done deal in a trade? He takes out uh, three, you know, little plastic credit cards that are decapolitan currency. Good anywhere, good anywhere, but oh, okay. that's just what it looks like where he's from. So now you have 300 credits and you're short a bottle of wine. I don't know how many I... It, the thing just said vampire wines are really... <laughs> oh, I don't I think it gave me a number of bottles. It should be worth 10. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. 100 for a sack, 10 for a, t a tenth of a sack. A sack is... Ten slots. Oh man! So, this yeah. is so the vampire wines don't go in your inventory. They take up a whole sack in the caravan. Oh, sorry. And then you have traded one tenth of the vampire wines. Oh, I see. So, so it's like a case of vampire wines. Yeah. That equals a sack. But well, that didn't go in. Bought one for three hundred. Well, he didn't. He didn't know you had more. <laughs> Probably would have traded more to Savile so straight from my homeland vineyard. I am actually terrified Look. of this person. Oh, he drinks it all in one spot, huh? He <laughs> drinks, drinks like a, a third of it. I think we did get that guy high, so. <laughs> we should leave. This man values nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we should celebrate. It's a successful trade. Ramba! She just looks and she just casts him a side eye. Who's the size? His uh, bodyguard. Oh, his bodyguard, okay. Wait, is Whoa. this the guy I'm supposed to be trying a letter with? Uh, can, what are you going to say? Oh my god, this is the guy? Yeah. Or oh. me. Oh, no, him, okay. The Duke? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. This guy's terrifying me. <laughs> <laughs> he's just likely to kill a murder. He's a murder of time. Yeah, yeah, he's going to pass uh... the pipe around, a bottle of blood wine. Uh, it's a party. Let's have some legalistic documents. Uh, what's the you say life. your your name is? Rouge Lombardo. I have. Lombardo. You've been served. <laughs> <laughs> Lombardo. nervously and so as he looks at his wizards uh, and they eye you suspiciously with the yellow eyes peeking out of the just black hood. I look back with my diamond eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Their eyes widen. He takes it, nervously tears it up. <coughs> pulls it out. Says. Meow. Or, mm, that's you. Meow. Meow. Uh, I guess it says your it says your name in the document. He says, uh, "Meow, thank you for this. This is just what I always wanted. <laughs> My great uncle, Tavius, who's the only one that believed in me, mm -hmm. runs over. Okay, 
Look at boys! He quickly flashes it at the two wizards before they have a chance to see it, and then he runs up and throws himself into his bodyguard's arms. <laughs> he looks up at her and says, Look, honey, look! And she looks at it and sighs. He <laughs> gets down and says, Well, you are looking at the proud owner of a new ancient tower. <laughs> Well, this shows you this deed along with a picture of this freestanding tower. And it says, look at that architecture. This is from the long, long ago, people. My grand uncle, he knew the love of shit. <laughs> Dad said, don't go buying old stuff. It's full of monsters. Then you could worry about capital. Oh, that rumor is starting to come cycle back into the, the mind. <laughs> the robotic, the dead robotic crab and things. Was there something about a tower? Yeah, it was a rumor we ran into earlier there. Own oh, and Ur Obsidian Meta Classicist style of the pseudo naturalist dystopian culture of the geological eras, and it's mine! Mine, 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 mine. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> it goes like this, and the wizards come up to him and they pull out some maps, and it's just like, how long is it going to take to get here? We have enough supplies, and they're just sort of going over it, and he's sort of asking questions, and they uh, answer amongst themselves. They, <laughs> yeah. They're used to not actually talking to him. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh my lord, it's gonna be." They, they whisper something to him. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, good idea." <coughs> How would you folks like three sacks of sanguine porcelain? He kicks over one of the sacks and. <laughs> The porcelain that screeds out is not like the shards and bits okay. that you're finding all over the place, oh. but well-formed, almost like pieces of porcelain armor. It's reminiscent of what's happened to your leg. Uh, and all these magic. Yes. And all I need is uh, someone to get me to the step of the wine nomads. Oh. And I'll give you uh, 1500 if you clear out the tower, too. Clear it's, out the tower. It's up by the the sea, the circle oh, sea. Step of the line, nomads. That's not so far on the right. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess would that be one, two weeks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the motorcycle starts up. You can see that throughout all of this tomfoolery, the prophet has gotten on their metal steed, <laughs> looks back over their shoulder, and says, "Sorry, I'm heading." West. <laughs> 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 no, that was a prophet in the car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or no, he's a prophet on the motorbike. <laughs> 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 the just left you behind. One cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I like it. They they even flat. The, the wise man just ran off. <laughs> 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 it's hardly um, out of our way. What's what's the deal? We have to clear he it. Wants us to take him to it for the three sacks just, of porcelain. Just take him. Yeah. yeah. How much is the sack of porcelain worth? And he snaps at yeah. You know, he snaps at the uh, wizards and they say two hundred. The going rate is two hundred credits a sack. Mm -hmm. Two hundred credits a sack. He offered three sacks. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, Fifteen hundred if we cleared out the. Would we have enough? Would he supply his own food for him and his? I'm guessing his guards. Are we don't have enough food to get there. The, the wizard. Oh, the right. wizard hears you asking this and just. <laughs> Like no. points at this boss is like, <laughs> but would it? I'm guessing it's his gods too. So it'd be taking three people. Yeah. Four, uh, Rouge, Ramba, his bodyguard, and the two wizards. So we have to come up with four. Three sets of but they could porcelain help. and expenses. Uh, well, he's gonna try to bargain with Rouge. Yes, yeah, so he's supplying you the supplies. You buy the supplies yeah, to get yeah. us there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Not because we are out of food, <laughs> because we are professionals and need our per diem taken care of. The wizards pull out a map and they point at the last Sarai. How far is last Sarai from Potshard? Two weeks in the opposite direction. <coughs> the steps of blind though. And there's not a straight way to the porcelain citadel. There is. It's only a week straight to the porcelain mm -hmm. citadel. Oh, this is what the last Sarai looks like. The last Sarai is the wrong way. We'd be going one week to the porcelain citadel and then one week to the steps. 
they, the wizards uh, come up to you and say, do you have enough supplies to get us to the porcelain citadel? It's a week? Two. To the porcelain citadel? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, wait, how would coffee. we... What? How would we get there in two... Oh, wait, one? Well, they want to... Oh, yeah, yeah, the porcelain citadel, it's one week. Once we get to the porcelain citadel, we can buy supplies. But wait, so you're saying you don't... We won't have any supplies for him? For a week until we get here when he can buy his own supplies? We told Rouge this morning we ran out of we've run out of all our supplies. We still he still just thinks we're all right. gonna be able to come up with some. Gotta surmise Fortunately how much... for you, you are employing a master hunter <laughs> trained by the big game hunters of the Watch. Magic Lake. How much would a slug bison how long like. could that feed us? Two sacks, I'll say, for a slug bison. It's usually one sack for a mount, but since it's a big old thing. And and a sack lasts a week for one person? So two you people. Come up with like nine-ish more sacks. Where are we doing right now? What, um, so let we could also let me make some of my claws and horns out of the black gold brick and then we have the money to trade if we want to try to trade where we are now and get more supplies. There's not much trade opportunities here. It's mostly uh, porcelain prospectors. Mm-hmm. You oh. passed some camp last night. I wanted to go fishing. There is, yes. There's water opportunity here. Easy fishing. We could, yeah, fill up our water and, and do some fishing. Probably just add some number of days to the, the travel tally mm-hmm. to get the fish supplies. We have... With Six. the slug bison, we've got one, two, three, so five total supplies. We ourselves need seven per week for our party alone. we got to come up with six more. Yeah. You, brought, what, you took account count of the two. I, yeah. Of okay. two? You got two yep. supplies? Oh, okay. One for Boner and one for... Oh, gotcha. Okay, so that's still... Easy to remember you. <laughs> oh, I Captain. Captain, thank you. Five, six. Yeah, so six. We have six supplies. We need seven in order to cover our entire party. Uh, we could get. We could uh, raid that glass house. Rouge says. What was the dried fruit for? Was I supposed to trade that or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. dried fruit's a, f- a trade good, but maybe glass house would be an easy supplies. target for a raid. They don't even throw stones. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 says the wizards. The, the <laughs> wizards again shake their heads. <laughs> we rode past the glass house uh, on our way in. Some porcelain prospectors told us that it belonged. Uh, it belonged to Don Satrasco, a baron of the Yellow Lily Consortium. Apparently, it's guarded by. Uh, Wind, uh, it's guarded by animated guardians, uh, animated by wind spirits. They also said Zatrasco is dead, and the place is up for looting. Oh. Let's do it. There must be spots in there. Sure. Um, I forgot when I was going with my character, what about like weapons and such? Ho ho ho, dear my god. Did I, did I have those? <laughs> Did I buy them? You had 290 to spend, or 230 to spend on supplies. 290. Mm. Did you buy anything with that 290? Uh, no, I really forgot about it. <laughs> no, I was listening to your means... story. No, I didn't. I bought the, I bought the whatever, the sander thing you showed me, the trade goods. So, oh, okay. And so then I rolled, I rolled for the sacks or, or whatever. Goods. Here's the goods. General goods. Things like flares and synthetic blood and ultraviolet lotion. Oh. Toolkits like an adventure kitchen, necromancer gear, a prospector's kit, armor, and weapons. And uh, implants if you want. Alright, sorry guys. No more checking that out while we're kibitzing. Sure. Mm-hmm. Damn. So these would go on this side or no? Yep, definitely. Uh, All right. It says the size. An SP is one tenth of one of these slots. Oh, An okay. ST is one of these slots. 
and a sack. I don't think there's any sacks. An SK would be 10 slots. I can't really have to carry that. Okay. Okay. Well, if we're going to raid the glass house, loyalty's other skill is nomad raiding. Hmm. All right. That's good. So, uh, using that skill, um, loyalty is going to make a plan for everyone to surround the glass house and sneak up on them from every side nice. and uh, catch them and the catch whatever winged guardians are there in the crossfire. Now winged guardians, I'm guessing they're like made of wind? Exactly. Yep. So Wind's how does elementals. one battle that or sneak up on that? or? Well the winged guardians have been trapped in metallic uh, animatronic uh, gun bots. Okay, so we just have to kind of like break those and then they kind of are just wind and can't do anything else? Shoot them. Yeah, yeah. Shooting takes the wind out of anybody. <laughs> mm. Alright, I'll take out the crossbow. <laughs> the, the bodyguard nods approvingly. <laughs> How much time do you think it'd take to make my black gold claws? Hmm. Black gold claws. I was thinking you could definitely do it if you um, spent a week doing it. Otherwise, you just. I was gonna do it before this battle. Months. Whenever so, you make those, I'll fix my shield. <laughs> so whenever that comes along, I give a day for one d four days. It's already gonna be two days traveling to the glass house. Oh, that's where oh is already. It? Oh, oh, that's. <laughs> so we go there immediately. <laughs> yeah, and we got a rocket. Okay. Three weeks without food, you're weak and sick. Seven, weak and sick. After seven weeks, you're dead or dying. Without okay. drink, you'll be able to get drink in the tributaries around here. But three days without drinking, weak and hallucinating. Seven days, dead or dying. It's the rule of three and seven. Yeah. Okay. Air. After three minutes, you're gasping. After seven minutes, you're dead. So, did you okay. say yeah. SK is ten slots? Yep. Okay. Sack. So we trade the items. Bring in basic supplies. Yeah, premium basic. Mm -hmm. That's a special way of saying yeah. basic. <laughs> So it's kind of like the cheapest kind of supplies you can get. Oh. But this doesn't say... Thank you. So that would be 10, 10 days or 10 weeks of supplies. It's an SK. Uh, one SK is a week of supplies. It's a week's worth of supplies. You consume one sack of supplies per week. Each okay. person does. Oh, I see. Well, is it too late for me to just say, hey, I bought a bunch of supplies? Well, there's a limit to how much you and your uh, your camel could carry, and you already took the two supplies, which is the max. Because you have three sacks already of dried fruits, oh. plus the two sacks of supplies would be all you could carry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so I wouldn't have any room for anything else. You might want to ride. No more sacks. Just so, oh, just like what? Okay. Carrying, okay. So I'd pick out weapon or something. Black hole sun, black hole sun, black hole sun. Does any of us have a gun? Do you have a gun? Okay. Yeah, we're using loyalty. Loyalty has so a gun, much... an armor, knives, no more battle camel. So we'd pretty much be like shooting just machines to make them stop? Whatever it is, we'll shoot it and then we'll take its stuff. And <laughs> we'll take it, so. That's professional raider lingo for we get rich and fed. Well, he's supremely confident about this sort of thing. <laughs> it's kind of his bag. Things like that have a nuanced view, though. a good plan. Ramba, the bodyguard. 
it says. Assuming the glass house hasn't already been shattered by those prospectors stealing the things. Wait, so we might raid realizing someone else raided it already? We heard about it two days ago. Well, I guess we'll kind of know if the gods are still up. But then we would have gone two days. Hmm. I just feel good about freeing some wind spirits from their <laughs> entrapment. That just feels good. All right. You spend two days riding up to the glass house. Mm -hmm. My loyalties would like to scout out the situation. Two things that can apply to that a set of oculars for long distance viewing and a skill at nomad reading. Or knowing how to approach and set up a raid. Hmm. Very nice. Sounds dangerous. Here, it's Splish Splash with you. <laughs> What's his name? Splish Splash. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <All right. laughs> the veteran <laughs> hamster. Oh, <laughs> over the hamster. <laughs> it just. <laughs> so, you approach. Uh, uh, kind of scout ahead of the others, maybe. It's a, there's a grand gateway that is open. The gates are choked by vines. It's a pleasure palace uh, of a clearly emergent prince of some uh, gildedness. Uh, fragrant lotus in the air. Lots of long grass reeds. It's on a lot of waters of cattails. Packed gravel dry driveway uh, is the only sort of thing that's clear, a lot of it's growing wild, that leads to the main building. There's an ivy stained garage and a lot of traditionalist brick servant cottages along the front path. And at the end, on the bank of the lilac-tinged catfish pond, a two-story steel and glass palace, sort of brutalist style. Um, on one end, um, so the palace on one end has a uh, Baroque iron gazebo. A lot of uh, little images built into it, statuettes. And on the other end, there is a garden with twee geometries wrapping around a big obsidian uh, spire. Here's an image of it. Oh, sweet. Okay. Any sign of these um, guard spirits? Mm. Let's uh, give you one clue per hour that you spend scouting. Alright. Uh, roll a d12. Hello. Nice. You spy into the master bedroom. It has a window mm -hmm. curtains open. And uh, you can see the big wondrous bed, four posters, uh, and the walk-in closet is open. Looks like some fine clothes in there, a thousand bucks worth. Uh, but you can see two of the hangers uh, are empty. It's like whoosh, whoosh, have been pushed aside. All of its fine, uh, what does it say, fine dresses, blouses, and the like. Mercer. M-E-R-C-E-R. -E -E Anyone know what that means? A Mercer. Fine Mercer dresses are missing. Hmm. That's one little clue you get. It's not all the clue. Um, what if we sneak up? Uh, well, loyalty will try to sneak up to one of the outbuildings and investigate one of those. Not going in alone to the main complex, <laughs> but... See if the servants left any supplies. Secret tunnel, if you will, to the kitchen. <laughs> mm, that'd be nice. Flip and tell me heads or tails, if you will. It's tails. All right. A dull little cottage with gray wallpaper. Uh, you're able to look through, and there's a stash of food tins. One sack's worth. 30 bucks. All 
right? We well, can't carry that back on foot, but now we know that there's food to be looted in the outbuildings. Oh, we and loyalty's already camels. been gone for two hours, so he's going to return to the group. So. All right, I'll just go. As you return, it's a really posh, shiny glass place. <laughs> Sorry, something happened. To As that. you're returning, the wind sighs in the. Dir- it's like the wind from all directions comes towards the house and sighs ominously. Some kind of magic. Oh boy. All right, it's real spooky. <laughs> <laughs> With wind sighs and stuff and crazy art architecture, like some sort of glass mirror obsessed knob was living there. <laughs> Probably insured out the ass. <laughs> Bound to be lawyers descending on it any minute, figuring out the payments and the inheritances. But it looks unlooted. I snuck up to one of the outbuildings, and even the servants had ditched and left their supplies behind. We could probably get the supplies we need without even pissing off the guards in the main complex. Well, if we wanted to get real ambitious, there's probably some grade A treasure in there. <laughs> That's my assessment as a professional raider. So good. An oh, actuary. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good. Chances are good. I would underwrite this raider. Rouge is looking at the picture of the picture of the tower that he's inherited, half listening to you while the rest of his party are nodding along and listening. <laughs> Uh, loyalty's putting on his armor as he gives this, <laughs> this explanation. He's ready to go in with anyone else who is. Rambo puts on war paint. <laughs> go in? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Butler. I don't suppose you and the other. He glides forward. Mages <laughs> could give us some sort of cover from the spookiness. <laughs> How would you describe it? I think spooky. Uh, a sighing ephemerance. He looks, yeah. he looks towards <laughs> the sort of spookiness. And mutters to himself as he glides to approach them. Their power level is off pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> the mage is the bodyguard? Uh, this is his magic butler. Oh, oh, his magic butler. Okay. Uh, talking about the... the uh, Trust fund babies, pet mages. <laughs> oh. he, they begin to speak to each other, and the arcane is. Lo- loyalty <laughs> wants a moment with Rambo the bodyguard. He hey, Rambo, as one professional raider to another, you know, we always say in the watch that the best insurance policy is between two raiders on a mission. So, how about you and me make ourselves a deal, a policy, if you will, that neither of us are going to get left behind in there? Throw Rouge into the deal, and I'm in. As long as I don't have to throw him out one of those windows, am I right? <coughs> she smiles at this. She smiles at the idea of this. <laughs> They ride along in their car as you go along with, with in your uh, on your camels. You see Rouge and we're all Ram- following, right? Yep. Yeah. This time we're going in. Rouge and Rambar. No, no one has to go on this mission. <laughs> Lock and load. <laughs> I'm trying to pick out what I bought. Oh yeah. <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> while we're going. <laughs> while we're going on a, a raid. Yeah. It's. I mean, I bought. A, I already decided on a bow, but I got to figure out the weird. Arrows or whatever. But I thought I just read something on ammo, but oh, the arrows. I wouldn't worry too much. Bow three. Of course. Cool. Yeah. Just make a note of that. That's just like uh, every time you sh- shoot. If you fail, then that goes down to two. If you fail again, it goes down to one. If you oh. fail again, you're out of ammo. Just yeah. like in the old adventures. Oh, right. okay. A okay. machine gun has a bigger clip. Is the idea. Right. Right. Okay. And then. Um, Probably all I bought. I don't know what else I bought. Mm-hmm. Oh, military maybe won't be. Oh, I suppose I should maybe get a dagger or something. Lock. On the wind as you drive along, you can hear from the car ahead of you uh, 
Rouge is holding hands with Ramba and gesticulating wildly and talking about various eras of, uh, uh, of the architectural movements. Mm -hmm. He says, now it's not as rare as the lesser onion and skull movement from the distri <laughs> distributarian uh, uh, range, but it's, it's pretty odd, and especially in that area, uh, it, there's really no reason that there should be Ur Obsidian uh, all the way out there, and she just sort of looks at him enjoying this. She seems to like him more when he's off on a tangent about <laughs> architecture. <laughs> And then she drives. You, they, they pull to what's supposed to be a, a cool stop, but you, with your safety driver knowledge, know that you could have done a better drift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the front of the gravel driveway. All right. Uh, somebody give me a D8 ball, please. Your butler the whole time has been... The cars, I guess, been going slow because some people are on foot, so they've been talking amongst themselves. Seven. Thank you. He comes comes back and says, "The merchant Satrasco, who owned this place, was in debt to Mestabel the fish, a bone melting sorcerer." I suspect that the sigh you heard on the winds was Mestabel's magic. Did bone melting? <laughs> so bone let's melting. just uh, loot the outbuildings and be on our way? We will listen to the wind. It drifts back to the other, the uh, other wizards and they all just sit like this in the car and kind of make like they're not going to go into the house with you. I mean, he's just brilliant. I'm so glad that they gave every good citizen <laughs> of these butlers. Uh, uh, there are rumors that he picks up on. <laughs> Loyal loyalty is gonna cock the bolter and kick in the door of the first outbuilding. With your strong leg? With the strong force of the leg. Excellent. Uh, roll a d30 if you would. Seven. Lucky seven. Come on. All right. Insanely, uh, the you realize that this place was built in the style of the second para Dadaism, because as soon as you kick open the door and see a fountain with a marble angel swan in it, which yes. shouldn't be an outbuilding, uh, Rouge uh, Rouge gasps and says, "So, it's the second para Dadaism." He runs in. Don't you see? It's post-architecture! <laughs> so, yeah, but where did they put the pantry in post-architecture? That's just it. You think about where you would put the pantry. Think about the opposite place. Think about the place in the middle and don't put it in any of those. <laughs> the marble uh, swan <laughs> fountain is flowing beautifully, overgrown with ivy. Uh... It's an angel swan, so it's like a human body with a swan head instead of a, and with angel wings, and uh, so also like two pairs of wings. The arms are wings, and there are wings on the back. Uh, it's worth, it's big though. It takes up four sacks, but it'd be worth 500 credits. How much room do we have? Not that much. <laughs> a lot of room for supplies. supplies. Your dried fruit is almost comparable in worth, and it only takes up three. Oh, okay. I mean, like, it's a little bit more than odd fruit, you know? <laughs> it takes up four. It's not bad. It's not bad. I just think we really <laughs> get one week to the Citadel, and then we can sell some of these goods there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's just get the food. Food's the important thing. Yeah, I the Goddess one might be, might be part of the curse. Sounds... He's, he's big. They've taken up an entire cart, <laughs> almost. You see the garage is open and it has three vehicles in it. That's oh, well, that's not right. Mm -hmm. What kind of vehicles? We can haul a swan. Yeah, we could haul. What kind of vehicles? Uh, you approach from here to, to the garage. As you do so, the wind picks up uh -oh. and a what if that actually sweet, takes? cloying smell rises from the weeds. And uh, you look back at the magicians, and they all look at each other with wide eyes, and they go from doing this to going like this. 
smelling at the magic that seems oh. to be happening around you. <laughs> Does anyone have any kind of lore for ghosts or whatever? <laughs> or were they radioactive banshees? What, what the hell is going on? This oh, no. <laughs> No, the ghosts are about the wear pugs. That's weird. Uh, we don't have anything to do with that. That's fine here. Uh, now I'm thinking even more so let's get, get some food and go. There are three uh, lovely cars. There's garage room enough for four, and you can see that one was here recently, but it's no longer here. Uh, and they are, uh, two of them have uh, sort of feminine faces on the front and uh, looking very regal. Uh, one has a big you know, engine with a in front of a racing car, but they have all been disabled. Someone oh. cut, cut all the wires and gutted them. Based mm -hmm. on the architecture info, I'm swapping to the, the crossbow to the short spear. I'm going to try and cut into the car as if it were a cake or something. <laughs> uh, very nice. What are cars doing in the garage? <laughs> <Under the street? laughs> Roll a d6 for me. If it's four, five, six, you're on to something. Sounds like he's thinking post. Five! <laughs> it's a cake. Is it? Yes. Oh, he's so sick. Oh, he's that's bad. It's all supplies here. We put the cake car in the regular it? car. <laughs> and we'll get all the way to the porcelain <laughs> citadel. Yeah, what did Rouge say about this? That's what I was just thinking post, post. Yeah, yeah. We'll say it's. Because it. A garage isn't in between, and it's not the place you wouldn't put it. You wouldn't put the pantry. <laughs> it's not in between. It's not the opposite. Yeah, that's right. It's this many right. supplies so, worth of cake. Three, yes. Three we sacks. We put the cake car in the regular car, hook yes. it up to the slug bison, and haul it to the porcelain citadel. Uh, huh? Can the slug bison pull a car? Can pull a wagon? Slug? Yeah, if you put it in neutral. We can, so. we can get our If you guys. put the slug bison in neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just... <laughs> the slug bison stalled out. You know, roll it down. <laughs> go, 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 go. Can I fix this car? This car... What's... <laughs> what oh, what's the car in real? I just, I just have driving. I'm, like, I'm wondering if that... Okay. Was... Safe driving. There's a crate of usable machine parts there, sack sized, worth 200 cash, so you could spend time to work on there it. There are two working cars. Do you want to work on I thought one, one was a cake. There, there were three cars. Yes, oh, one was a cake. One was a cake. Yeah, <laughs> the other two have been disabled. Oh, okay. yeah. Do you want to work on one and see if you can get it going? Will sure. we load up the cake and hitch up the other one to the slug bison? Sure. Get the one with. It. Yeah, you guys use the lighter. Yeah, we should have the smaller, more, yeah, more effeminate car. The, 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 just the lighter. <laughs> it's going to be the faces of these cars. That'll be easier for the side by the pull, maybe. And then you get the big, muscly, sure. more mask car. Does any, anyone have a mechanics? Or, or a mech, you know, I thought you were offering because you didn't. No. I mean, if no. you want me to build a car into the slug, or the <laughs> slug. You could do that. I could do biomechanics. <laughs> oh, biomechanics. Uh... No, I, I have the safe driving, um, whatever. So that is skill. Good. Yeah, so that means. So, well, I can know my basics are all probably. Oh, should I roll the. The only question, give me a sec to okay. kind of flesh out the cars. We can do that. We can do that later. Uh, okay. Right? Kind of detailed cars. But um, one's level six. That's good. One's level three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, let's feel free to use this. this. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fixing them will just take time. Uh, 2d4 oh, rounds yeah. per car. Oh, that was too funny. How, how long's a round? A round is a risk of that evil magic. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, magic. Mm. One. One plus another one, because it's 2d4. Oh, uh, per car? Yeah. Okay. Uh, five. 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 All right. So while you're working on the car, <laughs> for the first... Ominous howls sound in the distance, and it sounds like they are triangulating. Uh -oh. All right, so you're working on the cars. Right. What is everyone else doing during the hour or so? Time to switch to crossbow since. Uh, <laughs> loading up the other car and hitching it up to the slug bison so we can leave. Yeah, I'm helping with that. All right, staying by the garage area. Is yeah. it a, is it a worse slug? 
Yeah, we do. 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 Fixing the fending car or the like hot rod with the big engine popping out of the hood? You were taking the hooking up the feminine one to the sled bison, figuring okay. it'll be a little lighter than the big musty hot rod. No, no, that's and, and fixing then, that one's first or which one are you working on first? The one I'm working the on the big giant car. Rod. All right, all right, all right. Because that's gonna have more go. Yeah. You get that one going. <laughs> what are they running on? Porcelain? Souls? Uh oh. gasoline. Gasoline! Mm -hmm. All right, let's get out of here. We got cake and wheels. <laughs> so that's, that's one going. If let's you'd like go. to work on the the other one's hooked up to the bison. And the oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's good. Yeah, and it's longer than the second one. Yeah. You're, okay. Well, I'm gonna look. Is there any like gas or? Fuel? I don't know how this. You're those ghosts howling. We got no time. Yeah, we, right. Let's get out of here. What's we should get the count though. Is there? We still might we be. We added three stacks of cake. They're just yep. atomic. Three stacks of cake. So we're like close. Right. Then they have to have plutonium, plutonium rods, but yes. No, but they like, yeah. Every two million years, <laughs> they're going to need a plutonium rod. So I don't know how long these cars have been sitting around. Let's say, yep, plutonium rods, and it's uh, good enough for now. We'll start back on the. As, okay. you, as you as take As quickly out, as I can before yep. we. we I'm gonna see if I can grab stuff that would help me fix the other car okay. later. Very good. Um, roll a d6. Me? Yeah, four, five, six is you can get the tool or the, the parts. Parts. Yeah. What did All you say? One. Four, five. Four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three is always a failure. I'll try oh. to say failure success because I can get the numbers right. wrong. The low is bad, high is good. All right, I uh, the you go around the back. You go around the back, and you see the footprint of what appears to be a gigantic claw. There are footprints of gigantic claws which went uh, around the back of the uh, of the garage, apparently while you were there. And, and uh, took all the spare parts. <laughs> they went towards the house. Oh. We have enough supplies for us. For us, not for our people oh, guiding. Duke, what was his name? But. No one's gonna starve to death in a week. We got some supplies we can start. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll just go. I, I well, I find... wanted to fish a little bit, maybe oh, possibly before we go. How far away is that? Right. You could leave here and fish further on, away from the glass yeah. house if you yeah. wanted. Yeah. Where else I don't. Great. You take off. Along the way, uh, <laughs> you see a. a right, you're. Right, you know, just leave the way you came. All this madness. <laughs> oh, what's that place called? <laughs> Like oh, and you can house. you can mark it there. Yeah, the glass house and the dead prints, or just glass house. Uh, mark it how? We yeah, we this mark is, the map. It's this is it. Yeah, Mercury is marking yeah. it right here. Oh. Um, as you go by, you see an automated bot that has like guns for hands. Oh and shit! The size of a person, but it's like down, mm. and you see a latch is open on the back of it. Like just a circular hatch. Just oh, we are open. getting closer to the Emerald City. <laughs> <laughs> One short day in the Emerald City. Is Wait, that a battle Wait. suit? Is it like a mech suit? It isn't something that a human could go in. And oh, it's maybe, just maybe, maybe it's hot. It's smaller. Uh, <laughs> How about a hamster? Hamster <laughs> 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 splish splash. Yeah, he's a vet, isn't he? He's a veteran. Splish splash, you are not ready to the battle map. The, the uh, wizards hear you say this as you're going out and they go to investigate it. Uh, make a d6 roll. Success is yes. Is this a no. yes no? Yes All right, no. I've yes no delays. Good, you good. No. All right, they uh, go up, they look up, they shake their heads. They come over and they say, only uh, incorporeal beings can mm. operate that. Mm. Okay. It's a pressurized tube system. Oh, but it guard. looks like they. But it looks like uh, the machine didn't even fight back. Whoever deactivated it. Oh, hold on a second. Deactivated. Incorporeal yeah. beings, you say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe your mom. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, wait, grandma. <laughs> wait. Do you really want to give your grandma the power over a giant mechanized? I know you were saying the room is getting a little cramped lately. That's right. <laughs> you want to try like something? <laughs> Also have a crystal with the metal <laughs> hands. <laughs> <and knives. laughs> what do you think of this thing? Ooh. Now 
How was the soul transfer when they put you in that crystal, Grandma? I don't really know the right move here. If I just crack it... No, bring me to the Blue Land Wizard. Bring me to the Blue Lander. <laughs> hey, Blue Lander, can, can you help me out with this? You gotta be careful. This is my grandma. Of course. He needs a she, she's <laughs> also a very important <laughs> member of the neighborhood. Watch. They the insurance see. policies out in your life if you were to harm her. But the rewards of the friendship of the watch. You know how these things go. He raises an eyebrow and then speaks to her in a harsh, uncouth dialect. Uh, you recognize it as blue and talk. Oh, okay. Ooh. I recognize it as flirting. <laughs> <laughs> They both talk back and forth to each other and blow and talk, and he smiles the first time in these many weeks that we've seen him. <laughs> any any uh, context or <laughs> Is it straight up flirting or is it more? Do you, do you speak blue and talk? Do you have. Theoretically, everyone should have one language per point of ka. I think I forgot that last time. Oh, yeah, I I no, I have. I mean, like, I either, either speak what everybody else speaks or I only speak <laughs> what people speak. They, uh, it says of blue and talk, there's a surprisingly detailed vocabulary of dairy products and aquatic vegetables. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. They are flirting. Yeah. <laughs> the blue tongue, they move into the forgotten speech of the blue god. Uh, that makes sense. That's what I wanted for them. God. Harsh, <laughs> ambiguous sounding. You recognize some words for blue and talk, but it's very strange. It does sound like they're talking about uh, power and the trade of life and death. And, uh, oh, good. Yeah, it's going God. <laughs> <laughs> and they both, and yeah, there's flirtations. <laughs> mm. uh, very intuitive of you. <laughs> he, uh, he returns the ball to you and glides away. And she says, He says if we get to the porcelain citadel, he can install me in that thing. So we have to carry it. So, so that how many sacks does it take? Let's see, how many sacks does a car have? It uh, it's once the the little hobbit-sized bullet bot is a, a sack, we'll say. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. well, I can probably fit in the trunk of the hot rod, right? Yes, sure. <laughs> it's only it's hobbit size. <laughs> the road yachts each have well, one has six sacks. Oh, yeah, like a cart. And then the Smaller car has three sacks. Okay, so the smaller car that's each to the bison is completely full of cake. The hot dog has a huge trunk. You put six bodies in that trunk. <laughs> so the uh, it's an enchanted trunk. It's you know it's bigger on the inside. It's a trunk. All right, so we put one. The the R, the the mech is the size of a dwarf. Is that what you said? Yeah, or a hobbit. Yeah. Okay, smaller hobbit. So we'll right, right. back. I just we'll imagine a giant mech suit. Yeah, right. Yes. You can tell that the carboxylator and the lightning whirler are what's missing on the kind of fancy. On the other car. car. Oh, okay. Carboxylator. Mm. So yeah. I think like the <laughs> like the back end of the In our carboxylators. <laughs> I think it's time for some experience points. Oh, yeah! We did a thing. We did a thing. What be six times ten each? Fifty experience points each! Take it. For oh, you just. The broken heart. Fifty? Yep. What do we need for level two? It says level one. We need three over here. Oh, we're not even level one. We're not even zero. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. is that level I didn't okay. even see that before. Okay. Eat the thing. Wow. What are you guys at? Zero. <laughs> Wait, but we are, we're at 150. Are you just at? Well, I'm I just am. at 50. Yeah, because you guys got me. some last time. You and we, Joe we went. Joe yeah. went to the. Because we're able to afford the. This is where we get first XP. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so you're 50? You yeah, 50? so we're all three of us are 50. You're, I'm 150. <laughs> you're doing great. Yeah. All because I 
feel like I went to watch a circus. <laughs> That's an experience. Okay. <laughs> that was the circus dimension. Yep. That's an experience worth points. Alright, uh, Mercury, <clears throat> you're only a D. Uh, uh, yes, no. No. Alright. <laughs> no, he cannot. So, so as, else from as you ride back, uh, where? With the maybe by the bison slug and the cakey car, you fondly remember Yelga the battle camel and look to the horizon, oh, no. but she is nowhere to be seen. Oh, oh. oh. oh wow. well, you told her to meet us. Cake car, so still bison, time. There's still time. We'll be friends until we get too hungry. <laughs> <laughs> At least we didn't have to eat Yelga. <laughs> Gotta look at the bright side. Probably would have been weird, like those bunny rabbits. Yeah. Some lion, some uh, lion bats uh, fly by and sing the melody of "Keep Looking on the Bright Side of Life." Yeah. <laughs> 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 they just end on the door. <laughs> All right, a week's travel to the porcelain citadel. Oh, um, wait. Enough. There you go. We have yeah, no food for our party now. And our plenty. Henches. How much was we that? We enough to feed through Jenny's guards. So they will have to go okay. hungry. The cake was three? Mm -hmm. Wait, wasn't there a shed full of spam or something? Are we counting your fruit? We skipped it and no, we skipped ran it. before the uh, got us. Oh yeah, we could count the fruit, but the fruit is like... Trade normal. goods. It's trade goods and it's worth like ten times as much as the supply. Yeah. Although, okay. uh... You said you wanted to do some fishing, so I don't know oh, yeah, if you want to yeah. give it a go to try and bump up. Little... Just yes. roll a uh, d6 to see how many days it takes, and then a d20 uh, to see how well you forage. So we got four days on the delay. That's plus the two from going to the houses. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that's a whole other week of them. So we can't screw around after this. Okay. Just check. Eleven. Eleven. You can add Hakaba. You can add Ba to it if you want, or you can just go with eleven. I'm gonna go with eleven. Two sacks of fish worth twenty. Uh, cash. There you go. Okay. All right. What kind of fish are they? Halibut. <laughs> Even though that's, I guess, ocean fish. But <laughs> this is ocean water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was tiny little lake. Um, so. and then something else I was gonna say. So now we have an. We have more food and we're going for a week and we're going here. If, if it takes a week to try to make my like, claws, I want to try to do that while we're traveling. Do it on the way, excellent. I want claws and horns. And then whatever's left we can sell. Or if anyone else wants me to make something for them. Excellent. Good. You spend the week doing that while encounters and misfortunes go on. If you decide to jump into an encounter or misfortune to help out, then it'll delay the claws. Uh, Yes, so I tell everyone I'm probably going to try to focus on my claws. Sick. Unless you're like, That's you know. Fruits and <laughs> we can't waste any time. Uh, That's true. Is there enough food for all of us now, says Rouge? If we stretch it. All right. We're two sacks short. We got nine out of eleven. Sorry, guys, he looks at the wizards. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Takes a big bite of cake. As a so proper he, butler's duty. Yeah. He, he left his family because he doesn't like their like attitude. Like he said, he, they kicked me out. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Supplies are like halibut and a cake machine for car. <laughs> First, otherwise it was stale. Oh, we can mix it up. We're <laughs> still kick car, still halibut. Try that. Why don't we? All right, so we're gonna give we all these compass to uh, all close this for the next round of four ones. Um, I'm gonna erase all of the supplies. Or and stuff. It's right. just a market alert. Oh, so I'll delete the fish. Oh, I thought no. I saw some if you look on the other side, it's like time and space. Is the idea? I think. No more supplies than that. <laughs> Alright, we're rolling in with no food. Oh, so please. So, distractions don't bog us down. You got this. Punch. 
uh, the pot shards crunch underfoot, the wizards in your friends, <laughs> your um, uh, travel companions employ, uh, get visibly more distressed every day as they survive on a fish a day. Um, and anytime, you know, anyone suggests another arrangement, Rouge is just like, they don't mind! They don't mind! Do you mind, guys? And they're just like, <laughs> uh, you, we don't come across. We don't just happen across any rabbits or anything. <laughs> he takes time to hunt. Oh, right. mm -hmm. yeah. So, so, so we're trying to not. Yeah, that's fine. fine. Let's do the week. Spend the supplies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna roll the misfortune roll. Uh -oh, uh, D twenty. Oh, D twenty. Buddy, high is good. High is good. What was that? You can spend five. Oh shit. Roll. You can spend ba to reroll. Yep, you could burn That's your ba from one one. down to zero. So what is uh, what happens if I have zero ba? Then you'll have to spend a week to get it back up. It just means oh. you can't do this again. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's no more burning. Just, just make a note that it's it's your gone. divine favor coming to play. Damn it! It's not a two. It's <laughs> nine. Or I mean seven. I okay. know. Six. Six. I was thinking. Is it one day exactly? Is it? Why so as I give this thing to me. <laughs> well, we've all taken turns. You're the only person who hasn't done this yet. <laughs> no, you know the burden. Um, it is an ecstatically beautiful flower patch. Like I mentioned, how the with the rains things have kind of been blowing up, and I mean, like just being. And it's not about the smell or anything. It's the visual and the spatial experience of being with these flowers. Mm just expands your sense of time, except for Boner, who's just like, what's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> you lose one day. Oh, Jesus. You each gain 50 experience points. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and everyone, uh, roll a D, uh, uh, pass fail. If you fail, you lose a point of Ka. If you succeed, you don't. Uh, you lose a point of Ka? Yes. Yes. Oh god. Oh, it's like chi? Yeah. Yep. Fail, and what if we have zero ka to start with? Okay, so that means that in one of your metaphysical inventory mm -hmm. slots, you gain a burden. Let's call it, uh... Does it have to be one of the ones that has a skill in it, or no. an empty one? It's, I started the bottom. Mm. Okay, right. So um, start with the empty ones. Exactly. It, it, if, it could so this is the burden it. of, like, the memory of awkward flowers. Yes, of the flowers that bent space and time. It, it's continuing ah. to affect your space and time. So, um, pass fail is a six sider? Yep. Um, Only three is a fail, four and five six is a pass. There we go. Oh, damn it. Can't bother you, Burden. <laughs> Flower burden. One, two, three is a fail. So oh, I goodness. lose a car? Yeah. Oh, wait, so if I have a car, mm, then I just car. lose a car? Yep. Okay. So remember your maximum, and then know your current. Oh, okay. And don't forget, you each got 50 experience points from that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that does bring the tally of weeks up to seven. seven. What are that? The we're on fast mounts? Is everyone mounted now? I don't think so. Now that you yeah. have the slow gaze that you're partying with the car. Yeah, get the car. So many of that in the and we have someone. The car is, the car counts as mounted as quick, but someone can ride the bison, or maybe two people could ride the bison. Because we had everybody. But was. it's a sled bison, so it's. Um, so it's slow. I think three, so. Four. But four, slower than someone walking. Yoga, yoga's not coming back. Five, so six. We have six mounts slow, right? that can be ridden, uh, plus a car. That's everybody. We have the car seven has people a capacity of six sacks, and it's got four people in it. It's not carrying mm -hmm. any sacks, is it? The hot no, there's three cars. Okay. Because Rouge is driving. Oh, yep, 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 yep. So Rouge's people all fit in their car. Good. So that's still a fast. We've got the hot rod, uh, four camels, a mule, a slug bison. Yeah. I think we're good. We're yeah. Good so it's ride. seven days, but we got minus one on it, so it's six. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're there's still so encounter to roll. Okay. Wait, so we have one more day to the... One more day. If if you get another day of slowdown, 
then we have to go through a whole other week oh, okay. trying to get certain for supplies. Okay. So it depends on the roll. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What, are we, what am I rolling? A d8, please. To see what you encounter as you approach, as you leave the porcelain Oh, this out. is just an encounter. It's not necessarily bad or good. Right. Yep. Yeah, it's just like the flowers. It was kind of mixed bad and good. You know, you were over here. Four. Right in the middle. Four. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can I get three d6 rolls? Result of each. Six, six, five, one. Now I'm running time. All right. You uh, see the tracks, you pass by the tracks and traces of uh, several giant centipedes, and you can see the crushed corpses of these giant, not just centipedes, but giant, uh, and by giant, I mean like the size of my arm, uh, porcelain centipedes. So you see a bunch of them crushed, and you see one has gone away. And with your binoculars, you can see in the distance, there it is. And it's just crying out in hostility. And it looks towards your party, quickly begins to go towards oh, you, but shit. you can outpace it. Oh, no time to screw around. Let's <laughs> go. He looks a uh, porcelain centipede, and then he gives me that. <laughs> it's all just porcelain. Fascinating. Roll a, de- uh, uh, roll a yes, yeah. no. That's a no. It's, yeah, it's too much porcelain, and whatever mm. crushed these probably bat lions oh, okay. crushed the porcelain into the meat, so it's no good. Mm. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with centipede anyway. <laughs> so we were playing with extra days. You're able to craft. What does it look like when you arrive? Hold up. Let me set this up. <laughs> you spend a week traveling from the center of the porcelain crater towards the porcelain citadel. You hard at work on your black gold uh, extensions. You see on the horizon after the week's travel, a few days have slowed down, the unmarked white surface of a great citadel uplifted like an imprecation against the fanciful gods, a reminder that not all that has fallen has died. The citadel building is shaped like a hand going like this. And it is surrounded by golems. Alroy would recognize them looking up from his sphere and says, Oh, those are defense golems. And they're giant heads with pentagonal s- stones the size of like a freaking uh, garage in their foreheads. All right, the burn. <laughs> um, you approach, and you know, outside the ring of these defensive golems, I will admit to give some sense to me. Four figures approach you. Each of them has a porcelain mask. So it's kind of this ring of defenses around the central building. And this is a big city. Yeah. You can, there are, each of these little things is a building built onto it. And as they get higher, they get fancier and lower. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Classic. Uh, there are light swirling dust storms in the day as you approach a hint of cinnamon on the breeze mm. in this area. Uh, uh, and again, the haze makes it so the sun doesn't really come over the blackness in this edge of the sky until nine o'clock. But these four figures in uh, robes, kind of like uh, these guys, four of them, mm-hmm. approach. They have the same masks, cool kind of style. And they say, uh, with a chorus of voices that uh, are all different, but they all speak at exactly the same time. That stair leads to the high houses. Only permitted penitents may ascend to serve us there. Stay back, for our pillars of power remain as potent as in your forgotten long, long ago. And then they gesture for you to come in. (laughs) And then you can... They, you see, like, a, another car is approaching, and they go up to that, and then stay back. <laughs> Same. This is the porcelain citadel. So he he was warning us to stay back from the citadel. Don't go up the stairs to the... Don't go up the stairs to the... Don't go up the stairs to the... I don't know. I think I want to go up those stairs. <laughs> Good, good, good. Time to 
sell some loot, have Rouge buy us truckloads full of supplies. <laughs> Pretty desperate times. <laughs> Wait, he was gonna give us three hundred just to get. Oh, he owns the. Uh, I forget what the hell. He's giving us three sacks of porcelain to get him there. To get him there. Yeah. yeah. And then he's gonna give us another fifteen hundred to clear if out. we clear out the thing for him. Yeah. But we've got cat coffee and saffron and yeah. old fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I forget about the saffron. saffron. Look at that fruit. Potentially a car. We, we've got two looted cars, one going, one the, not. Uh, market research. It does the place that you're in and the surrounding places? Such a great question. I mean, it would make if you sense. spend a day, you learn about an adjacent destination. If you spend a week, you learn about a chain of three destinations. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You know, send a week to... to the Colossus. If we hang oh, for the week is spent, yeah, like... you know, schmoozing, boozing, lining, and dining, and it costs 1d6 times 100 cash, uh, but then it gives you advantage. Oh no, I'm thinking of a different oh. thing. A week, you're, yeah, asking around to find out the prices. I'm thinking of haggling. If you wanted to haggle, you could spend a week to get advantage on the... Oh, okay, gosh. But it would only take a day to know what the porcelain soda is about? Or a market a price. price of a trade good in an adjacent destination. Oh. Do we just know the prices as soon as we come to town? Is that a matter of like asking the market? Yeah. So, yep. Yes, indeed. Oh, cool. Oh my goodness. So here. What can we get for cat coffee, saffron, and odd old fruit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, D20 roll. D20 roll. Let's do one at a time. Okay. D20 roll. Good. Yeah. Cat coffees? Cat coffees? Okay. Yeah. Thirteen. All right. It's a depressed market. Uh, haggling checks are made at disadvantage, but the price is just what you would expect at what it lists. Which is very good. You bought those cheaply and they're worth like a thousand dollars. Do you wow. get the prices so, thing? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's so price factor one. Those. Yep. Yeah. I think the pricing is underneath. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, wait, maybe that's a curse. Four for seven. Yeah, that's a curse. Oh, it's it's a curse. curse. No, we spend Ba if you want to roll a d20. That's okay. Alright. This is the saffron. saffron. Uh, the porcelain princes have already had established a train route of uh, saffron. There's a low demand around here, so it's worth okay. half as much. Okay. Should we just keep it? Yeah, do we want to keep it if it might be worth more somewhere else? Keep saffron. Yeah. Yeah. Sell the cat coffee. Well, it would be loaded if we sell the cat yeah. coffee. Was there a third thing for us? Yeah. Cat coffee, fruit. Dried oh, fruit. Dried the fruit. fruit. Hey, uh, odd fruit. Come on, 20. 16. Hide man here. They oh. love odd fruit. <laughs> they, in fact, you come up to the market and they say, you can't. You came from Pachard Crater, didn't you? They're looking at the porcelain <laughs> cycle. Did you go to the odd effect? Did you get the odd fruits? Oh, the odd fruits came from the highest quality <laughs> exchange. Well, they, they say, you know, the vintner version of ooh la la. So they'll pay double for odd fruits here. Ooh, nice. Selling the coffee and the odd fruit. Which is uh -huh. ooh la. <laughs> All right, we're selling the coffee and the odd fruit. Excellent. So, is that three odd fruits? Yes, we have three odd Doubled fruits. Doubled is 600. Uh, and then the coffee, unless we make an awful penalized tagging roll, it's going to be a whole lot more. Okay, hey, that's, that's good. Do you guys want me to roll this? Hey, okay. For the coffee? I thought we did the... Or the not, do we not automatically haggle? Oh, good question. Let me look at the haggling rules. Thank you. Haggling's optional. You can sell it for the price we just said, but if you haggle, you could get even more of this. But we've got a disadvantage to haggle because the market's um, slow. Uh, disadvantage to haggle on one of them, right? On the yeah, coffee. Coffee. Yeah, yeah. Coffee. Yeah. Which is the most valuable good we have. Mm -hmm. So maybe we just sell it at yeah. worth the price. Uh, that would be my opinion. If you spend a week haggle, if one of you commits a week to being the haggler, um, then you could, uh, obvi you know, get advantage, which gets rid of the disadvantage. Huh. Which At market could, price? It's eight thousand yeah. dollars. Which we can buy whatever we need. Then we can pay back our loans. 
We can pay off our loans. Mm. Really? Already. Mm. We can buy so many cabinets later. For Zaffron, right? For cat coffee. For cat coffee. Yeah, it's right. all that cat coffee that got cheap in the Pilot City. That's right. We sunk most cheap. of our money into it. It was like a tenth the price at the source. Yeah. Sunk most of our cash into it. And now it's market price out here. Coffee Which trader. Is, wait, so okay, if we wait, back. if we stay in the city a week, we can get the 8000 No, we just get the 8000 8000 is the market That's the market price. Yeah. We can do that now. For the cat coffee? I thought yeah. we said it was 1000 I looked at the wrong line. The cat coffee is 2000 Oh. And the saffron's 1000 Wow. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, the saffron's only 1000 Mm-hmm. Oh, right, but the cat coffee was made in the city that we were starting from, so we yeah, bought it for cheaper. Yeah, saffron. we bought it for like 200 a bag or something yeah. instead of 2,000, or maybe yeah. the saffron. Like, we didn't put most of our money into buying it, yeah. but it was How? way cheaper in Violet City. Yes. How would we get the money to pay off our, like, how would we send that in? Like, yeah, do we have to travel? person, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we have to go back to the Violet so City? Maybe that's right away. Right now. Yeah. Hanging out. What it was it's if you're able to pay off the loan now, that's a lot sooner than a year, right? He's yeah. expecting in a year, another yeah. year to pay off the loan. Oh, he'll, yeah. he'll be a good friend for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every loan officer loves giving their stuff paid off. Right? What's your question, Casper? No, I'm just like thinking like yeah, the pros and cons to doing that, or we're gonna it's it's risky to travel with that much money. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it also your... seemed easy to make it, so we could make it again. Would you? So you're not haggling; you're just trading that copy up. Yeah. As you do so, you hear, "Oh my God, this is coming in the nick of time." He looks over his shoulder, and some uh, trio of people in porcelain masks walks by, and he waits for them to go by. He says, "There's been an embargo on trading with the cat lords. <gasps> They're trying to start their own." They're trying to start their own coffee plantations here. Brilliant. Wait, so we just traded something that now people, only the cats can trade? The cats can't, we can't trade it from the Violet City anymore. They usually trade with the cats, yeah. but they've they've shut that route down, so they're really happy that you guys are. But did the who, the cats decided they're not gonna trade anymore, or? The princes decided. Of that city. Yeah, of this city. Of this city decided they are not going to oh, buy it. Okay, yeah, because our Holly Mahi suggests to the, a group of five people with identical porcelain masks. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Interesting. Or, so we maybe could have done more for him or whatever. Yeah. Oh, interesting. We have over 8,000 monies now. We might be able to arrange more comfortable transport. Well, we got a car now. Yeah. Oh, so mm -hmm. Three cars. How many Rouge's car? Conference yeah. was double. One car that belongs to us and runs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we might want to look at some. There were some other interesting kits. Like, I have a med kit. Oh, med kit, yeah. Yeah, so there's some other interesting kits that anyone needs to get something. So, are, are, are you the vehicles? One? Are we pooling all our cash? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, well, the trade good stuff is all pooled. Okay. We could divvy some out as pocket money for all of us. Well, I have We're buying lots of gear. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I mean, we have like loads of it now. Yeah. So. Well, let's let's find out where we're going next, and then buy like food supplies accordingly, and then um, yeah, I guess we just buy whatever we want. How much do we want to get some of those like happy worms or what were those what? worms? Oh yeah, the what? There's the worms. worms. You put them in. You put them in, oh, and then whoever has them doesn't mind doing the dishes anymore. They're happy. Don't mind tilling the field. <laughs> they love the other side yeah. effects. You, you, <laughs> you say happy worms on the and the in the marketplace and someone's. Uh, Eyebrows raise and they, uh, they again look over at the porcelain princes and they say, "Of course, of course, so we buy those." Buy those? We're gonna sell. We're looking to buy. <laughs> I'm not 
sure if the princes are selling. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, those warm songs aren't as cool as I thought. I thought. Well, what use? What use would you put them to? What? What? use would you put them to? Or what? I thought to? like if you add them to a drink, you know, and then you drink a little drink, it's like temporary, not like a warm now lives in your brain, and you can be manipulated into doing servitude. <laughs> Well, as a chemist, maybe you know that uh, you, there's true. a more innocent use you can put them to. That's true. I just thought like you could listen to the Grandma spirits if we meet tequila. some like sad people. <laughs> um, that's fine. <laughs> oh, so I bet all those wizards have happy worms in their brains. Yes. They that's wish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Every night, that's what they say to each other. They have to wish we had some happy worms. <laughs> Make this so much more big. The whatever is bodyguards. Yeah, we're <laughs> just bodyguards. Um, as you're in the city, you can. Oh, I should say. I should say. You automatically learn one of the discoveries nearby. I just need to give you a die to roll, don't I? Alright, somebody else's turn to roll. I've been rolling a lot. We did okay. <laughs> D glass. A D14. I don't have one of those. How about a D20, but ignore results of higher than 14? 12. While trading, uh, someone points out to you the two Sarai's. Sarai is like a hotel or a place to stay when you're away from home uh, and they say now that now that they've cut their ties with the violet city the porcelain princes have only one other major trade partner they sort of up a chin gesture to the Sarai's and say the satraps some of the light people hang out and keep a permanent base there who are the light people uh I guess that's slang for the sea traps, the, oh. yeah. the oh, astronaut looking guys. Oh, okay. The spectrum sea traps, so why don't you give me a d10 roll and I'll give you a, oh. this person has an answer to your question about the light people. Oh, yeah. Four. The people who employ us are sea traps, right? Yeah. <laughs> the sea traps. I mean, you know them, right? right? But the suits. Sure, the terrible. suits are the uh, actual ones. There's nothing yeah, inside. Yeah, thank you. Air and light. That's why I call them the light people. Oh, interesting. Does the light have consciousness? Same thing in porcelain? That's consciousness. Oh, it's oh, yeah, think as we think. I have a sense of self. I suppose light is a lot like... Consciousness is a lot like light, isn't it? It lands on something sure. and reflects it back. Sure, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> some cat coffee. <laughs> <All these days. laughs> I like you, Violet. Where, where, do they, where do they come from? <laughs> where do they go? The light people. Light people? Mm -hmm. Far west. You could ask in the Sarai's, but uh, it's not always safe that? for wanderers who aren't already alive. Yeah, them. sure. I'm just wondering if, you know, there's a general knowledge. Backstory to these people. Sorry, I was writing down a thing. Which, was there a specific type of state, state trap that they portrayed to? No, we're just talking about... Oh, you're just checking. Yeah. I didn't get the lore, I guess. They hang out over here. This guy's saying the satraps are nothing but the suits. There's nothing else to them. You can see a big, like that spindly-legged <laughs> crazy clock thing. You see a spindly-legged thing with a big crystal jagged top is like loading and unloading next to one of these buildings. <laughs> and on another one is this kind of like big egg-shaped but with six uh, spindly legs as well with a... Uh, a bunch of people standing on top of those uh, robed folks with the masks, with a little, I'm trying to say, a railing around them, sitting on top of it as they too are trading. So it seems like a trading house with a big mechs bringing in exchange. Oh, do we want to sell that mech suit we found, or do we want to use no, it? No, I thought. Yeah, put grandma in there. Oh, yeah, and couldn't we do that? He said he can do it once he gets here. So we can do it here. <laughs> they aren't mad at us. <laughs> Oh. Rouge. They gotta have we don't tell them about to eat. I don't need those fools' help, says the butler. And as he gestures away at the orcos, he says, Give me your grandmother's soul. I will put this robot. Sure thing! 
fix it away. I like your he words, go- magic man. <laughs> he, he approaches a group of the polybody princes and has a conversation with them. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, I am so glad that this this is just how that character turned out. Uh, <laughs> nothing but gold. <laughs> Terrifying. Gonna backstab us one day, gold. <laughs> yeah. I do feel that giving her a gu- two gun hand <laughs> will be a mistake. Yeah, let's let's make sure there's no ammo in there, right? But yeah. <laughs> but right. it's a mistake you do for the story plot. <laughs> yeah. My cult is Life keeper and insane. your nefarious grandmother. <laughs> Totally a trustworthy pair. <laughs> They're speaking a language that none of us understand. This is gonna work out great. <laughs> this is how we die. They may just go live on their own adventure. They mustn't be see. <laughs> Three months later, I'll we'll see. Um. <laughs> so what do we do to get our pa or co- what is it? Yeah, our pa and ball back. Great question. Rest. If you spend a week resting, you can restore one of them fully. If another person spends that week attending to you, you can pick two things to fully uh, uh, get heal. Uh, if we're spending weeks here, you can also spend the week looking for discoveries uh, around this area. Mm-hmm. Spend the week, uh, if you spend a week, you could do market research about adjacent places. We're already buying and selling. It's, uh, oh, bulk sales, bulk sales take a week. So this is going to be a week we're hanging out here. Yeah, but okay. you can, while that bulk selling is going on, other folks can haggle, look for discoveries, do market research, carouse, which is party. Mm-hmm. You spend a week and some a couple hundred things, and then you gain as much money as you spend, which is randomized. You get that much XP back. All right. And then something happens. What's the, the so what's the status of food availability here? Just for... Yeah, tons of we got lots of cash. <laughs> our Roll cake is gone. Would you like to eat for me? Uh, okay. We should figure out our transport situation. Why did I ask? Why did I ask? <laughs> I, <ask? laughs> I have telekinetic intestinal bacteria I means feeding <laughs> one. Great. Well, that's a what is it? Okay. All right. Available food is there. Uh, your your butler comes back with uh. Five, five of these porcelain-faced people, and you see each of their masks has cracks throughout it, uh, like they've been cracked and then put back together. Um, and one of the bodies is sort of like very big and muscular, and uh, the two of them are rather old, and then two of them are live and lovely. Uh, and they say in unison, we are many cracks, five body. It sounds as though you're interested in renting one of our, uh, th- you're interested in renting one of our uh, polybody labs, and the wizard whispers to them. Or your friend is, says you're also interested in supplies. Yeah. Yes. Work. <laughs> Gotta figure out a name. For this is your manservant? This is his <laughs> version, yeah. He thinks it is. <laughs> Clearly. They snap at the person with whom you were haggling, who you were talking to, who was drinking the coffee, oh. and the person just brings them their coffee that they prepared oh. for themselves, and they go to drink it under their mask, and then and they sit, and they like goes to sit down, and somebody puts a chair underneath them as he does, wow. and the other body starts cracking its knuckles, and he says, "Do you have any rumors from the Rainbow Lands? Perhaps we could trade rumors for uh, hands or whatever you call them." <laughs> Oh, tell them the prophecy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, take your voice. <laughs> Here, you need a scroll. Hey, all right. <laughs> what was that? What was that fellow's name? What was the color of his mohawk, at least? The prophet with the blue mm-hmm. mohawk. You knew her name was Morla. 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 Oh, yeah, that's right, because I traveled with him. From the Prophet Morla. Traffic, traveling with. Oh, I don't know what do you call this. Uh, by. by, uh, by Whereabouts? Oh, metal steel? Yes. 
Bicentennial metal stations. <laughs> and the tail jutting out of top of their skull. <laughs> Spoke of very rainbow vantage. Ghosts leading up. This is, this is a warning prophecy, by the way. This is just... All of the bodies are leading in the same <laughs> this is the... Ghosts are to lead the wrinkly ones. We are pugs. <laughs> you made it sound like that was the common terminology. <laughs> As they would climb into the sky and bring about doom. And desperate to find somebody with influence that could convince the Necropolis to destroy their raft. He stands up urgently, <laughs> and all of them uh, turn on their heels and then look back at you over their shoulder in, uni in creepy, creepy unison with their various voices. Say, the Conservation Society thanks you. Give them five weeks of hams, or whatever you call them, goes away. All supplies. That worked out. Yes, that trade embargo is the same people that are <laughs> basically I think gave them some sort of war declaration <laughs> like pretense for war or something do you want to add to your notes I thought something about the prophecy was like isn't the it happening needle. at the needle of the world yeah like the pugs I feel like are the, the what the, the needle, needle, of, needle of the world isn't that what he said you guys are about to say I'm around. like there's a ring you might I just needle of the world <sighs> <laughs> and it's like he just can't comprehend the word that you got to say. Interesting. Who's that? That's your thought. character? <laughs> After the descriptor of like, there's certain things that must be forbidden. <laughs> and I'm oh, a professional totally. citizen. Yeah. Wait, they don't what? talk about the They don't talk about the oh. oh, because you're from this area, you're saying? Yeah. Uh, well, it's just I thought like it's too the, polite. The weird, oh, right. mention, yeah. like, the weird esoteric culture that, that they have okay. is very yeah. cult-like and stuff. Yeah, and if yeah, people yeah. specifically don't talk, like powerful people don't talk about that, I'm a professional yeah. citizen. I don't wow. hear that. That's some good <laughs> I forgot about right that. Yeah, That's that good playing right, right there. there. I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good <laughs> so I'm looking at the numbers on the trail. I'm going to make a note of that for uh -huh. sure. We could... We Many one running car. Butler, we could fix the other car, buy a third car, lose all the wagons and animals, and just load up on supplies and gasoline and go faster. Yeah. And still have probably 4K left to fill the trunks with drugs. Very nice. Or whatever. But loyalty. Thing. One sack of... Thousand camels. Per car. Do we think that cars are riskier of like breaking down in the middle Run of... Run out of fuel, camels can graze. Mm -hmm. You can sell the cars and get the camels. So they still run on gas? Yeah. Yeah, cars? Okay. Well, or plutonium rods or whatever you want. Yeah. Takes I'm just like little... To fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the one. Fuel sure. Okay. Plutonium yes. rods, which run out just as fast as gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the future. This is the post, post, post. You have to They're understand we're all being bombarded with so much radiation at all times. <laughs> it's deteriorating rods mm. so fast. I gotta make a personal note. By the way, did you say ultimately to sell the cars to get the thousand camels later on? That could be the plan. A thousand camels. What? Yeah, that was a camel. <laughs> you want a thousand camels for what? Just think about it. Well, well there was something about... <laughs> How much about weight could you put on a thousand camels? You said something about, like, does one city really love camels or something? That's yeah, why you had to claim... Colossus has cheap camels, though. So, you know. oh. said to buy them cheaply and sell them somewhere else. But you had some kind of... There was a, whole... a reason it was a thousand camels, and I can't well, remember. I think it was that... It just became our as many as we could <laughs> across Colossus, <laughs> and then between them. there and back at the cities where they're worth more, just put stuff on. on them. Find stuff to put on all the camels. Okay, that's what you said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So, for the car thing, I just, I do feel nervous about how they could, like, cars take a lot of repairs and gas, but I'm not mm -hmm. saying... We can still do it. it I'm just saying I'm not. Faster. We have an opportunity they, to get them because we have lots of cash and we already have one in a broken car. Can they go across any terrain though? Like we don't know what we're gonna, mm -hmm. you know, we'll if there's like mountain okay. ranges we yeah. have to cross, the car can't really do that. We could also sell the cars and have probably 6,000 more monies. I mean that's the thing, it's like so we're trying, we're trying to get here, right? 
So we could maybe buy the cars just to go here, and if we want to sell the cars here. Do the lime nomads like cars? I don't know. Do we, um, is there a road? I mean, what, what is the travel situation? Yeah. Lime nomads like Are Steve's these roads we're going to go down, or just road paths? Good question. There are they're roads. Uh, if you wanted to, there's some, there are some mountains. The ribs of the father, you can like drive a car around here. You see the dotted lines? Mm -hmm. Those represent elevation changes. Uh -huh. So that might slow down cars. I did like add a number of days. But it's not a problem to get on the normal with a car. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In general, they're faster than our wagons. Yeah. Okay. Then the that makes me feel better. Yeah, yeah. So I like it. The main advantage would be going a little faster. Because then we don't have to worry about food as much if we're not having as many days. Yeah, so. yeah. Nice. That's another. Yeah. Then you can't, but then you can't camp, camp, cannibalize, can camel, right. camel, cannibalize, and we can't graze our mounds if we run out of fuel. We're stuck. There is a spell you can learn to turn metal into something edible. I think. Wow. When you level up. Oh, that's how that card became a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know I was she was magic. a master. She was a master bakery witch. <laughs> um, so can we just learn those spells? Well, how does that work? When you level up, you can oh, okay. get it run. Um, so, what was I thinking? Okay, so we got... You can also, like, buy spells. Yeah, that's what it was with my question. Yeah. Can we buy spells? You can also, like, sell the cars, go back to, like, three wagons full of supplies, and have so much money to party in the porcelain citadel, buy whatever porcelain gear we want at any price. I mean, partying is leveling up. Yeah. And something else, I think, is something. Which we don't know if that's good or bad. D20, high is good, low is bad, you can use bottom reroll or add to it. <laughs> I think, uh, how many of us have to like raise our car? Oh, I, yeah, I'm raise our car. Room. You have to uh, raise Oh, yeah. Back on. I, I got to, two to, to, I need two I points. think we all do, right? Yeah. So, and we can only do that if you tend, if this time in the city we have a week of sleeping yeah. instead of a week of doing we anything have to else. Rest. But we, we have to spend a week in the city regardless because that's how long it takes to sell all our coffee. All of right, so I'm thinking like, for me or if anyone's thinking yeah. this, like do I want to just like sleep this whole week so yeah. I can get my car back or do I want to party and get experience points or something like that? Wow, this is like a real life decision, is it? Do I want to yeah. rest yeah. or party? So I, I propose we sell all of our mishmash of mounts and the going car and the not going car. So everything? Turn it into four carts, eight camels, so everybody can ride, and we have lots of room for supplies okay. and gear and if any grazes. And then we'd have something like two grand a piece to party, level up, buy whatever gear we want, plus several thousand more to set up our next trading. Expedition. Do we have enough to pay back the loans already, though. Mm -hmm, but so we have to. We have to travel back. back yeah. I mean, so you said your plan gives us each two thousand. Then that means Just we only to blow. Well, then we, we only blow have a thousand. Have a thousand pay back your loan. Oh, oh a loan yeah. a thousand, not two thousand. Well, they're two thousand a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let me. No, I'm just trying to understand. So you're saying, if we sold everything we had. We'd each get two thousand plus. We have plus we inventory. Have How much in inventory? Something like another at least six or seven thousand. Okay. Because uh, somewhere between the six and ten thousand, depending on what we get for the cars. Okay. Yeah, because currently we have three camels, two carts, and okay. you were thinking four camels. Did you look three up carts? A Either. slug bison, a mule, a going car, a not going car. Did okay. we take that swan? Statue goddess thing? No. Oh. Okay. Not juice. No, I, that's fine. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it was a cake too. Okay, um, I'm ready to like lift up this really heavy thing. Just roll down with uh, all the menagerie <laughs> and the cars and turn it into a bunch of carts and camels. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Are you fine with then not having cars for speed? Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
I think there's better things we can do with money. Yeah. Like, if we start years. selling camels, we have five to change our money. That's my goal. The partying is so tempting. Uh, so if we're, if we're selling and buying a bunch of this stuff, do we use the number, the values in the book? Do we have to roll for it? Well, you, can just use the, you can use the numbers in the book. If it's not if it's not trade goods, there's no need to do market research type stuff or find the price line, just use the values <laughs> in the book. Uh, if you come across something where you're like, hey, this is a porcelain citadel, shouldn't I get a porcelain thing like sure. easy? Uh, just <laughs> let me know. Um, can we get a price on the broken down car? Price on the, the broken down car that you have. That we hold. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the hot rod. The hot rod's running. The hot rod runs. Good. This is the. Uh, and you knew what color. pieces there were. I could fix it. Yeah. So, it's, I, mean, it's so I mean, if it's if it's a different price to fix a car, we can always do that. Yeah. Just buy a little bit of. Depends. You do have more time now to sit and do yeah. like a fix. We've had five weeks of food. Oh, is it the hams you mean? Yeah, is yes. it five weeks of hams? Wow. Hope you guys like protein. Oh, that was five sacks. Oh. Five sacks. Period. My yeah. bad. That's yeah, fine. I, I, I thought we had way more time. I thought I heard. <laughs> he already is messed up a, on the 30 versus 30. I was going to say, is this a 300 not, yeah. or a 30? Yeah, when, the, when the guy who gave up his coffee brings in the sacks full of uh, spam, <laughs> he, uh, they're, they're just five sacks. So okay. you may have understood that way at first. He's like, no, 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 I can't part with more than five sacks. So, even if even if uh, many cracks five bodies, that's so why I, I go out of business. He looks desperate. It's like, please, please don't make please. me. <laughs> don't take this. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's like, I feel like being I'm bad. I'm going to how much that car costs. But I, I, I'm listening. Oh, oh, running car is worth 4000 Oh, did you look at running car? I'm assuming that's less. the question. Yeah. yeah. As we convert. This menagerie of mules, cars running, etc., into a bunch of camels. So you think it's, you think it's better to caravan on camels, not cars? I'm, I'm down either way. No, I'm just that you're, you're the, the, you're the one looking at the one. numbers. Yeah. So I'll trust you. Oh yeah. We <laughs> could do cars, mm -hmm. and we'd put most of our money into that, and have to carry fuel. Mm -hmm. We could do camels and carts, and then they can graze, and we stay at the same speed we were, yeah. and we have loads of cash. To party, equip ourselves, do some big trade run. Yeah. I think we can okay. really use the beef up of. Like, I know we need Cash. to heal, yeah. and boy, XP wouldn't go <laughs> this. Well, we can't heal and XP at the, and party at the same time. Right, right, right. right. And we know longer so, the amount of time to do that. We what? The uh, food. Oh, but the food in general, because I did roll for. Is there an availability of food here to purchase? Yes. Okay, sweet. Absolutely. Okay, we're good. Well, we can stay here two weeks, right? Yeah, I mean, we can stay here a lot. Food is relatively cheap. What do you, okay, I need, what, what, how do you heal now? I need, I'm down two points. Yeah, it takes so I need one to week to But heal if someone one. else stays with me, or how does that work? If someone stays with you, or you buy a doctor, pay a doctor to stay with you and care for you, then you can heal two things. Oh, okay. how, much how, much doctor, doctor? Yeah, how much is a doctor? That might be cost effective at this point. Uh, five bucks for a week with a uh, five dollars. It's to get a sure. oh, I suppose. Wait, if it's a week, it would be five times again. seven. Okay, then we can have a couple of thousand. Thirty-five bucks. It's an untrained doctor that is basically <laughs> just giving you auto pills. But really, all you need is someone to be with you, like generally helping you rest just, well. How much is a prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> Basic services should be here. You just need some comfort. How mm -hmm. much is a professional cuddler? Yeah. A, a masseuse? Professional cuddler. Professional cuddler. A whisperer. Uh, From this area is equivalent of uh, Brooklyn? <laughs> just. I'm thinking of that, that episode of uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm where he doesn't want to go through the carpool lane. So he gets a prostitute yes. so he can yeah. go to the yeah. car playing. Oh Somebody with a nice voice, maybe you can just whisper <laughs> ASMR in my ear while I'm resting. Can you mimic an ocean? Thank you. 
Can you do a Boggs frog noise? I mean, in yes. the porcelain citadel, there are prostitutes. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sure. <laughs> what about Boner? Boner can just stay with me, right? Oh, that's good. Yeah. He didn't lose anything. I forgot oh, about me, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't need to buy any <laughs> I actually have some medicinal expertise, though. I so. <laughs> I was speaking for boners, and I forgot about me too. It was something cool if I just roll the price of the car, say like a D12 times 100 less than the price yes. of a running yes, car. Yes, please. Yeah. For the note down just think about how, well, how much does it take to just fix the car and so on? That's there in lies the question. Yeah. How much, it, how much it, does it take to fix the car, did you ask? Yeah, is there a list for tools or. or 25 spot? bucks and a week to get it up and running. Is it worth it? Um, we can get 400 less than the price of new and sell it now. How long do you guys want to stay here? I think we should stay for a couple of weeks. Uh, a couple of weeks would be great. A couple of weeks I could fix it, because I fixed it in, what, five rounds? I fixed the last one? Yeah. So. That's actually, I didn't think I was oh, saying you know what? I should mention, uh, spending a week here costs money. Okay. Uh, Three dollars a week if you wanted to think that you're riff raff and you know just stay in the low houses where you're doing all this wheeling and dealing with the people that get kicked around by the uh, bosses. A hundred dollars a week if you want to earn respect from them and start rubbing shoulders with the boys. I can't be expected to stay in the low, <laughs> the low born area. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so, haven't sold the broken to the high house. Keeping the broken car for the moment, mm -hmm. turned everything else into eight camels and four carts mm -hmm. for us and all our gear. Gonna hand out two thousand dollars of spending money to each of us, okay, and leave four thousand and some change for our next nice. Nice. Yeah. Wow, thank uh, you. So, uh, so you said two thousand, two thousand each, pocket okay. money, oh, and we've still got plenty for a big trade run. Okay. Plus a broken car that we can figure out what to do with. You said a hundred a night. A week. Oh, okay. Time out real quick. Do but you, it's do you take it to account Alroy? I know he's not here right now, no, but right. he might be here next week, like next meeting. Oh, uh, Joe's character. For money wise. We're still got 4000 Okay, all right. Don't, don't yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Can give Alroy a couple of thousand as well. Yeah. Because okay. like, we just wouldn't have as much there. Make loads of money next time, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good call. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> you said 100 a week to, in the posh? Yeah, the which I'm sure would include some level of prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need it now. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't looking for the services of it. I was just looking for someone to <laughs> stay with me so I could heal fast. Boner <laughs> answers the door. Oh, no, we're good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oiled up, chested <laughs> man in a speedo with a plate of oils and fruit. <laughs> I'll take the grapes though. <laughs> Cheers. Staying two weeks, I would like because I want one week of rest for my car, and then I wouldn't mind partying for one yeah. week. Nice. You just, you just need one color. I assume my little I just need, old Well, that's interesting. If I rest both weeks, would I then get two cars? It only goes up to your maximum. Oh. Yep. It's only like what you lost. Yep. Yeah. So if you had three con and you were at zero, a week would bring you back up to three. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Uh, the, not the. So, so we a, could bring. Yeah, never mind. I'm good. What about those of us who've suffered a burden? Is burden another? Is that. Burden, about? same thing. If you spend a week resting, a burden that takes up an inventory slot, you have to. It could only. You could only cure physical burdens or metaphysical burdens in a given week. But like you cure two d six of them. Oh, okay, cool. All right. I guess I don't. Oh, actually... so you got a burden? Yeah, from the flowers. Okay. I was like, but I don't think it's metaphysical. I'm like, yeah. How has that burden been affecting you in the porcelain citadel, the flower warpage? Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> uh, what was it? The thing that he. God, he's trying to remember. There is a traumatic event that he had. Yeah. His fateful disaster was a spatial distortion horizon caused by a gate eruption. So this has not been a great time for him. Some, some post-traumatic resonances, maybe. Yeah. <sighs> well, you can stay with me and Boner if you want a helping hand. Focus, focus. They wonder about the prophecy. Ah, oh, the wrinkle people! I should have been way more desperate about that prophecy. You're going to go out of the sky! <laughs> 
Wait, so let's about the raft. <laughs> what are they doing now? Don't you have a manservant too? Oh, he's busy installing the. Oh, he's his grandma's soul into yeah. the abandoned gun body found he, in the glass He's doing house. a great job at making sure we're well protected. Uh, okay. It's been, I mean, I, he's been busy running all these errands for me. It's been fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I probably also going to be spending money to stay up in the upper echelon. The upper, very nice. Since I'm a professional citizen, I have to represent the little people. I gotta. The Smurfs. What is the? What, what's the general uh, consensus of the ruins of Zur and the Violet City? Like, I assume the ruins of Zur, they aren't really held in high regard amongst oh my any of the yeah, but the Violet City specifically. Yeah. Least of all the Violet and the Green because they're close by. Oh, absolutely. And I absolutely want to start bonding oh, with this, these porcelain princes that are now in a trade embargo and I've given them a prophecy. This, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Politics. Good. Yeah, when the topic speaks, you listen. <laughs> um, what about one minute to five? Okay. Okay, okay. Um... Let's land on y'all. You've been haggling to figure out the monies. I got the y'all figured out. Y'all are full of food, but ready to roll. And everybody's going to spend this week resting? Or partying? Yeah. yeah. I thought we spent, well, having two, are we one staying week? two we weeks? We want to cover that at the start of the next one. Just because, I mean, like, we got our cash. Yep. We know how much we have yep. left over, and then depending on who's here. Great. Uh, just because we all, it sounds like we all do want to spend like two weeks here. So that's. Okay. I just figured. Be quick. A week. Well, we're thinking a week healing and a week partying. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. yeah Let's. Well, y'all already healed up, right? If it's been a week, yeah. Yeah. For, <laughs> that's the question. That's yes. the question. Yeah. So Maybe, we're here one week, right? Just because we'd have to deal with if, food if logistics we, and money logistics. For if we do the week, we'd have to roll some things. So yeah. let's put your car back to zero, and we'll do the week of resting at the start of next time. Okay. 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 So you just arrived in the porcelain citadel. Obviously, a great place. People with nice masks. Uh, someone's soul is getting installed into a gun bot. You sold stuff. You're rich, and uh, it's time to rest and party next time. Uh, on Pokemon. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm just gonna say I paid for the hotels already because I already deducted. Okay. Oh yeah. Out. I'll try to remember as well. I'm gonna try to decide next week on. Look, I feel like actually staying in like the negative food. Place might be interesting to meet some people, but it, it'd be smart. <laughs> but for getting a really good rest, maybe a hunter might be better. I don't know. I'm gonna make that decision next week. Maybe a final word from each of you, just a, a snapshot of kind of your character at this point in time in the porcelain city after this travel. Mine goes like this. <laughs> Shining claws, mm -hmm. look through them, see scary things. No, I haven't been looking at it. So you, oh, you go like this to <laughs> <laughs> sitting outside the operating of room. Yeah. <laughs> the operating room? Being like, oh, grandma's new hip is going to be so great. <laughs> <laughs> She's been sucking that gem for a long time. <laughs> you know, they're bringing in the uh, uh, shaking people in robes, and whenever they open the door, you hear ominous chanting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am, uh, I, the hamster's the only one who knows what I'm going through, so it's me and him just in a nice room and just taking in whatever company keeps arriving at whatever the spatial distortion tells Oh, hello! <laughs> so he's just, but like when alone, just, <sighs> someone like, just holding a little hamster hand. <laughs> someone 500 yards opens a window and you see it like opening into your room. <laughs> Wave. It, it, Be polite. <laughs> Until that first week heals it up. <laughs> <laughs> Those Ooh. flowers, man. Oh. It's your oh, wait a minute. I just envision me healing. Like me being in an opium house, you know? Like, like, just... <laughs> <laughs> so, can I heal and party at the same time? <laughs> an opium house. Okay, okay, no own party place. <laughs> or rest. Um, <laughs> I went into but that could be our final moment. <laughs> yeah, that's the two spells that I can't remember what movie that was. This will be good for you, Boner. Someone, <laughs> someone, someone got hurt. The character got hurt. He was hiding in an open house. <laughs> it was like the 1930s you know, or something with all the Asian. Yeah, my yeah, what, what, was it American? Um, American fairy tale or something like that? 
It's a gangster movie, I believe, with Robert De Niro. Mm-hmm. And he was like lying sideways and like people <laughs> Do you know him? No. He was just like living there. He's a gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, 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 you know, whatever, the waiters would come and just stuff his pipe full of opium. Oh my gosh. And he's lying on his side, so when he falls asleep, he's just like. <laughs> As you're falling asleep, <laughs> there's like two pipes in, it's like. Just no fun for all the Nero movies. I was like, good fellas, meet the fuckers. Um, what was my <laughs> uh, Who else was in it? Uh, um, James Bay? No, not James Bay. Uh, my brain's fried, so I'm yeah, not going to know my celebrity <laughs> names. I'd say this counts as progress towards the party's uh, overall goals. And so, at the end of the session, everyone gets. 400 experience points. Oh, Wait, what? Oh, holy crap. Oh, oh cool. Level All level one. Mm. We can start by leveling up next time. All right. All right. Do we, do we, do we have a date for next time? 21st? That was it. The video of me and my friends playing Ultraviolet Grasslands. If you watched it, <laughs> I feel joy. Uh, um... Yeah, there's going to be more. Subscribe, watch more, uh, do comments, and let me know what you think. Um, Yeah. I love these games, and I hope they're good news for you and yours. Have a good day.